Welcome back. So in this module, we will be seeing on how to manage code quality and security policies. So as we have seen it on continuous integration advantages, so we have mentioned this point like you can easily identify your code qualities and security policies and everything in your early stages of your pipeline. So here in this lesson, we will be first seeing about how to manage your code quality. What exactly is a code quality and how do you manage it? So what are the things that we are going to see over here? So we will see how core quality is defined and what are all the sources and impacts of the technical depths. How do you use an automated testing to measure the technical depths? How do you configure Sonar Cloud in a build pipeline? Sonar Cloud is nothing but it is a tool to measure your code qualities and quality gates and other things. And how do you review a Sonar code results? And how do you integrate other code quality tools? And how do you manage your technical depths using Azure DevOps and Sonar Cloud? So let's start. So this is nothing but uh, a so code quality is actually defined as lack of coding standards and poor technical skills that can lead a code very bad and not readable and which is not documented, which is not quite efficient to use and which is not maintained properly and which is not secure as well. So these are all some of the examples when your code is bad or when you when you say like your code quality is getting bad and how do you identify all these things you will be able to identify all these things with the help of certain tools like code quality tools uh, such as sonar cloud sonar cube white source bolt and there are a lot of other tools in the market as well and <clears throat> what are all the sources and impacts of it so technical depth is nothing but it describes your future penalty that you can incur today by making easier quick choices in a software development practices for example if you are thinking like uh, mm -hmm. writing a test cases is actually creating a lot of problem for me and i just need some more time for it it would be quite easy for you now but when you discuss the same thing in a future it might become your technical depth okay similarly some of the technical depths is like lacking of coding styles and standards and poor design in the unit test cases and ignoring certain standards or object oriented principles or methodologies so using a monolithic classes and code libraries and poorly uh, envisioning use of technologies and using a old set of softwares or over engineering the code and insufficient commands and documentations and not writing yourself documentation codes and leaving your dead code in place so there are a lot of other practices or you can call it as lot of other ignorant practices in software development which is typically causing you a technical debt and all these things are easily identified by sonar cloud or sonar cube <laughs> and uh, how do you automate the testing to measure the technical depth so we can use this uh, sonar cloud to actually do all these things so it helps you to add the problems during your development that makes it difficult for the customer to understand and uh, it helps you for both hard to understand or how do you say that the technical depths mainly helps you hard to understand and how fragile it is fragile in the sense like if you try to remove certain codes the entire repository is gone or your entire project might be in a hard state so that is fragile uh, and typically like it helps you time to increase uh, the to make the changes and validate those changes and and it actually looks small but it actually grows in over time so these are all the uh, what you call problems that occur when you have a technical depth on your code imagine technical depth is nothing but your virus okay so if you have a virus in your code and uh, at present it looks small but in the future the same virus can destroy your entire software so that is the typical example of technical depth so you should not avoid virus at the same time you should not think technical depth as not equivalent to your virus both are one and the same okay and one way to actually minimize these accumulation of technical depth is to use automated testing and assessment okay and this is a basic example where you are going to configure sonar cloud in your pipeline so it is nothing but Sonar Cloud, you can easily, anyways, we will be seeing it on our demo, but I'll just tell you like Sonar Cloud is easily available in your marketplace. Marketplace is nothing but the area where you're going to download your plugins and you can have multiple Sonar Cloud steps like you can prepare it, you can run it, you can publish the quality gate and other things. So you are going to install this Sonar Cloud uh, plugin and then include it as part of your job and then you need to give a service connection endpoint and when you click on the manage, you have to give the Sonar Cloud URL and then you have to give your username and password and there are a lot of other steps as well that we will be seeing it as part of our demo 
and once when you run this program you will get a sonar cloud results which you can see it as part of your sonar cloud dashboard and this is where it actually tells you what are all the code smells what are all the technical tips you have and what is a bug how many vulnerabilities are there what exactly is your report and issues and uh, how, how it is to rectify it so all these things will be displayed as part of your particular dashboard okay and this is typically called as your automated testing results of sonar cloud and what are all the other quad quality tools that is available according to your standards so there are multiple tools like independent and resharper and uh, white source bolt and a lot of other tools available in the market so whichever is easy or whichever is compatible for your project you can use that mm -hmm. from your particular marketplace and then you can try to work on that accordingly so this independent is nothing but it is a visual studio extension that actually access the amount of technical that that the user is being developed and resharper is nothing but resharper is a command line tool that can be said automatically to fail the builds which means if it is having so much of problems or if it is uh, having so much of issues on your particular technical tips then automatically the code will get failed so that kind of integration also you can do it as part of your pipeline and then uh, we need to actually discuss on how do you have your code quality tooling standards like how, do, how azure devops is going to get integrated into multiple tools and before you have anything you need to first discuss like what are the current code quality tools if i'm using anything or if i'm not using what is the best thing for my project and what is the best thing that you like for this projects and everything so all these discussions you have to have according to your project standards with your project managers or with your devops team and it has to be a combined effort and after discussing everything only then you can implement this as part of your organization and uh, in the lab we will be seeing on how to actually install sonar cloud and how to create an api keys out of it and how do you integrate azure devops along with your sonar cloud and there are other steps as well that we will be seeing it as part of our project lab so until then if you guys have any doubt please do reach out to me thank you come back so in this lesson we will be seeing on how to manage your security policies so in our previous lesson we have learned a lot about code quality and sonar cloud and a lot of other tools and how to integrate sonar cloud along with azure devops so here in this lesson we will be seeing about security policies so what is open source licensing and what is os top 10 and how do you detect your open source issues with white source bolt and what is your security policy tooling and how do you check the vulnerabilities so all these things we will be seeing it on this particular lesson so what is the open source software open source software is nothing but as the name indicates it's a free software which everyone can use it as part of their code so open source software is a code that everyone can read modify it and enhance and share it accordingly and uh, you can inter incorporate this open source code in any of your projects like java .NET, php python node.js anything you can use it and one disadvantage of using this open source software is like it has a lot of security flaws it has a lot of quality flaws and it may be old versions there might be some licensing issues which we will not be aware of because that is not maintained by any organization it is open source and free so if you are trying to use that in your particular organization you should always be making sure like you are looking into the security aspects you are looking into the quality aspects you are looking into the versioning aspects and you are looking into the licensing aspects as well and by doing all this help this white source board will be helping you across and you have to try to minimize your risk by implementing the automatic messaging systems to look into these issues for you and uh, what is OASP top 10 OASP is nothing but it is a security vulnerability tool or open source uh, security protocols that uh, your code or that your program might be possibly getting attacked or typically they call it as your hackers program so what are all the basic attacks that can be done on your particular program so it is nothing but ingestion attacks or broken uh, authentication attacks or sensitive data exposures and xml external entities and there are a lot of other things as well so broken access controls and uh, nothing uh, i mean like it is not only five it has lot more things as well and this oas is nothing but it is a foundation which is open source foundation for application security on your main websites so if you go to this oasp.org we can still learn a lot about this particular oasp top 10 and 
this is a basic example of how do your white source bolt is getting integrated into your azure devops and where exactly you can see a report or it tells you about the security report it tells you about the vulnerabilities of the libraries it tells you about the licensing aspects a lot of things it can be helped for your particular code so we will be seeing it on our lab like how to integrate it along with azure devops and then how do you see this dashboards across but this is just a basic example of how the white source bolt dashboard looks like and apart from that there are other tools available in the market as well which is microfocus 45 which searches for your violation of security specific codings and check marks and which is mainly used for tracking and fixing technical debts bin scheme is a static analysis tool like your sonar cloud and OASP Z proxy protocols which is open source web application for your penetration testing so it does all your OASP top 10 testings across so there are multiple other tools as well available like Veracode and a lot of other things and again before discussing the security tooling you need to check with your security team and the devops team and the project managers like what are all the current security tools that is available in my particular organization how can i use it or which tools will be best suitable for me can i use this or can i not use this if i use this what will be an advantage so all this discussion you have to have before getting implementing anything on your pipeline mm -hmm. and what are the labs that we are going to do it so we will be mainly seeing on how to integrate white source bolt according to uh, along with your azure devops and how do you integrate veracode and can get the results and how do you see the dashboards and how do you detect and remedy the open source vulnerabilities and how do you identify the open source libraries and apart from that we will also see a lot of other security aspects particularly to this so stay tuned for the labs and the meanwhile if you guys have any doubts on this particular module Please do reach out to me at any time. Until then, thank you.